Hey everybody, how is it going today? In this video, I'm going to go over a gaming penny stock that looks very promising. Financials are rapidly improving and judging by their very bullish pattern it's making, Wall Street is starting to take notice because it's breaking out. Now it looks like it could be only in the beginning stages of a big move, so it's not too late. I'm going to show you who they are, what they do, and go over their chart as well as a few other trading opportunities I see happening in the market right now. Now, if you are new to my channel, I like to find short-term and long-term trading and investing opportunities in typically lower price stocks. I'm going to show you how I trade some of my favorite chart patterns, which have helped me become a consistently profitable trader. Each video, I'm going to show you current trading opportunities, usually before they go up. Now, if that's something that interests you, please consider subscribing so you don't miss any future trading opportunities. But please remember, I am not a financial advisor. I'm only showing you what I do and what I'm thinking, so please do all of your own research and make all of your own trading decisions. The name of this company is Play AGS Incorporated, ticker symbol AGS. Now, Play AGS is a global company focused on creating a diverse mix of entertaining gaming experiences for every kind of player. AGS designs and supplies gaming products and services for the gaming industry in the United States and internationally. It operates through three segments electronic gaming machines, table products, and interactive games. The electronic gaming machine segment offers various video slot titles for the marketplace and EGM cabinets. The table product segment offers table products, including live felt table games, side bet offerings, progressive, card shufflers, signage, and other ancillary table game equipment, as well as table technology related to the blackjack, poker, baccarat, craps, and roulette. This segment also provides Dex S, a single deck card shuffler for poker tables. Now this is the big one. The interactive segment offers a platform for business to business content aggregation used by real money gaming and sports betting partners and business to consumer social casino games through its mobile app, Lucky Play Casino. Now, whether you're looking for premium poker titles, blackjack side bets, baccarat variations, or equipment to take your tables to the next level, AGS has new options and proven performers for your casino floor. Now, because of the shutdown, their business was hit rather hard, but judging from a couple slides from their investor presentation, it looks like things are picking up quickly. They say as of September 30th, 2020, nearly all of their casino customers have reopened to at least some capacity. And reoccurring revenue base produced resilient results with over 14,500 domestic electronic gaming machines active at the end of the quarter. And their net loss improved to 11.1 million compared to a net loss of 42.6 million in the 2020 second quarter. So things are moving in the right direction. Now, if we go over to their balance sheet highlights, it says, as of September 30th, 2020, they had $113.2 million of available liquidity compared to $43.2 million at December 31st of 2019. Now, if I jump over to the NASDAQ's website, we can take a look at their yearly earnings forecast for the next couple of years. And at the end of this year, they are projected to lose $2.36. But if you look at 2021, we can see that that loss is approximately cut in half because they are expected to lose $1.11. And then the following year in 2022, they are expected to lose only 70 cents a share. So it's, it approximately gets cut in half again. And if we look at the high EPS estimate for 2022, they are projected to practically break even. So things are definitely on the up and up. And I think gaming is going to grow a little faster than expected so i wouldn't surprise me one bit if they uh, turn an eps profit in 2022 but uh things are certainly projected to get better for this company all right let's jump over to seeking alpha for just a minute take another quick look at the financials before we get into the charts uh, the first thing i want to show you is the revenue as we can see the revenue has been increasing quite steadily so this is a very good sign in December of 2015 they had 123 million and in December of 2019 they went all the way up to 304 million so that is a very good sign and if we look at the gross profit um, the trajectory is the same so in 2015 the gross profit was 98.5 million and it rose to 218.7 million so that is a very good sign let's go down and take a look at the net income if you look at the net income, they are still a 
They are still a money loser, but it is headed in the right direction. So that is a very good sign in 2016. Um, it came in at a negative 81 million, but as of 2019 in December, it's down to a negative 11 million. So let's jump over to the balance sheet real quick. All right, if we go to the balance sheet, we can see the cash that they have on hand. Um, it actually stayed pretty steady from 2016 to 2017, um, but they had they probably had a capital raise in December of 18, probably offered some more shares, and it went up to $70 million, but now it is back down to $13 million. So it wouldn't surprise me if they did another um, capital raise if the stock price does take off a little bit. So that is something to consider. Um, we, if we go down to total liabilities, go to total liabilities, we can see that it is still rising, but I would expect that to start coming down soon. But it is up to $56.5 million as of December of 2019. And if we go down to the shares outstanding, um, yeah, we can definitely see they did have a capital raise, a share offering in 2018 that uh, brought the float back up to, uh, or brought the shares to 35.4 million. They haven't had another one since, but um, that was the first one they had in the last five years. So that is actually a pretty good sign. Actually, that was probably when they went public, because I, I believe they went public in 2018. But um, they haven't been offering any more shares at least as far as seeking alpha is concerned but it wouldn't surprise me if they do offer just a little bit more if uh, the share price does go up you know it, it would strengthen their long-term position so it would kind of be a smart move but um financials look pretty decent on ags okay now we're over at my trading software my tc2000 trading software and uh this is the current daily chart of play ags incorporated ticker symbol ags and as you can see, it is making a very nice rounding bottom. It has popped above all these moving averages, the 200-day simple moving average, the yellow line. It's above that. It's above the 50-period simple moving average, this blue line, and above all the other ones as well. And that is a very, very bullish sign. Um, like I went over before the, in the fundamentals, um, the fundamentals are certainly improving. Uh, the future looks very bright for this lower price stock, which um, if you trade a lot of stocks under $10, they are few and far between to have very decent looking financials and um, you know improving bottom lines like AGS has. But if we go to the hourly chart, we can see that um, it is pulling down to my buy area as we speak. Let me back out a little bit. I'll show you this trading pattern. I love to trade. If you're familiar with my channel, you know this already. But it has made that triangle consolidation. It has pushed through this upper resistance area so now this becomes support as it pulls back and it is pulling back into it as we speak so if it holds the support and gets back above that eight period exponential moving average that is going to be a very very good buy signal so um, that's the what i am looking for but uh, let me get this stuff out of here real quick um as we can see it's pulling back on actually lighter volume this was a big nasty bar right here but uh, that was just in the first part of the trading day so uh, i don't consider this a heavy pullback on on uh, on uh selling on heavy selling I, I should say but let me back this chart out a little bit let me go back to the hourly as we can see this company has only been around since early 2018 and um you know the as the financials have been improving the stock price has been going down so um with the stock price going in one direction the financials you know the earnings the revenues are all improving so this is a pretty decent looking buy opportunity for the long term if you want to be exposed to some of the gaming sector and i definitely think with some of the budget shortfalls that states are having they're going to start loosening up legislation on uh, gambling and um you know the mary jane stocks so uh if you wanted to get involved in those two sectors um i think the future is looking brighter by the day and of course with um the new biden presidency everybody is thinking that the mj sector is going to be very very lucrative going forward but um 
PGS looks like a super good play. Let me go back. Let me go back to the hourly chart real quick, and you can see this thing has had a pretty good run up from two dollars and fifty cents all the way up to four fifty super quick. So it is a little extended coming out of the bottom of this, you know, um, <clears throat> rounded bottom type pattern but um i think it's as long as it holds the support area and gets back above it i think it's still got plenty of room to run and i will be looking to take this trade if it gets back above that eight period exponential moving average all right well the next one i wanted to show you is actually another gaming company it's only been uh publicly traded uh, at least under this symbol for uh just a few days and it's called fans unite entertainment and the ticker symbol is f-u-n-f-f and you can see this one was trading at just around 33 cents when it came public, um, you know, three or four days ago. And it made a high of over 80 cents a share just a couple of days later. But it's only trading at 53 cents at the moment. But this is another interesting play in the gaming space if you want to get involved in a lower price stock. I went on their website and... Um, there just wasn't a whole lot of information there. I would recommend checking out the website and being a little bit more familiar with their business model before you decided to get into this one. Um, I am not going to be investing in this one, but I'm definitely going to put it on my watch list and keep an eye on it for at least several months, probably for a few years. I'm definitely interested in seeing how this one plays out, but um, I wanted to show you this one so you could put it on your watch list as well before I jumped on to the next uh, trading symbol. All right, the last one I wanted to show you that's worth watching is Titan Medical Incorporated, ticker symbol TMDI. We can see it had that explosion up in June as it blasted above a dollar a share, but it has been pulling back and carving out a nice rounding bottom, and it looks like it is starting to head into that trend acceleration mode. Maybe zoom in a little bit closer. You can see it's holding that eight-period exponential moving average, and it is booming higher. Um, let's go to the hourly chart. We can see it a little bit better back out a little bit we can see that nice rounded bottom and if i zoom in we can see these lows getting higher and then the move up oops the move up and then the touch on the support area and now it's headed higher um I think if you were wanted to get into this stock, I would probably wait for a little bit of a pullout. This is a pretty big extended bar. I mean, but I mean, this thing could certainly go higher. It's a very, very low price stock. It's still under a dollar, so it wouldn't take a ton of buying to just skyrocket this thing up. But I personally would like to wait for a little bit of a pullback. I am currently not in this one, but it was on my watch list and uh, it's making a very nice pattern. So I wanted to show this one to you guys. Let me get that out of here real quick. Um, oh, and one more that I, I just had to point out. It keeps showing up on my watch list, but for whatever reason, I just kind of keep ignoring it. And today, it finally took off. This thing has been popping up for like weeks. And I almost talked about it yesterday when it made this uh, bullish candle and held above. Let me see if I can... It's kind of hard to get it to go back. When it made that bullish candle and held the 8-period exponential moving average uh, once, twice, and three times, it made that... A little bit. I mean, it's it's not a very expensive stock, but it made a decent move off that candle. And then, of course, the next day, wow, just a crazy big up move and MTC uh, on huge volume. I wonder if there's any news. I wonder if this is like any some kind of maybe reverse split. I should probably have checked that before I jumped it up. I don't think it is, but um, man, what a huge move for MTC. And this thing just kept popping up on my watch list, kept popping up, and I'm looking at it, and I'm like, ah, I better not. And man, what a huge move today. That would have been a great trade. And I actually strongly considered it yesterday, and I considered putting it on the video as well. But um, whatever reason, I did not do it, but that would have been a great trade. But I did make an option trade today, and um, I will get into that right now. All right, everybody, I think I am going to try an option trade on CSX today That uh, on the options that expire on Friday. Um, this stock is starting to wind up, and it looks like it could be pre putting pressure on that resistance area, and it could have a big move up. Uh, let me go to the hourly chart. I can see it a little better. Actually, let's go to the half-hour chart. I can see it even better than that. But uh, I am hoping for a explosion move out of this 
consolidation and we can see hopefully we'll see price in the upper 90s in the next uh, day or so um, i am going to look to buy the 95 call and i'm hoping to get about 10 contracts at around 10 cents a piece so ten dollars a piece i want to jump in with about a hundred bucks um, it's probably going to have to trade down a little bit today in order for the contract to come that low but if it does i am going to jump in and uh, try to grab uh, 10 contracts of this 95 call that expires in only two days so uh, if this does work out for me <clears throat> I probably should make uh, I don't know six to ten times my money on it if it doesn't work out I'll be out a hundred bucks the Delta is only at an eight so this is a very high risk low probability trade this is basically just for fun and uh, if it pays off It'll be great. If not, I'm not out a lot of money, but uh, I don't ex suggest uh, taking this trade just because, like I said, it's a very low probability trade. But um, I, I seem to uh, think that this is probably going to pop through because a lot of uh, companies in this sector have been uh, rather explosive. So we'll see if this blasts through and um, I will stop the video right here and then we will... Uh, come back to it and uh, revisit the trade if it gets executed and uh, we'll see how it ends up all right well i have entered the csx option trade that expires on friday i made a little bit of an adjustment to it um, i was watching how the stock was acting so instead of uh, waiting to buy the 95 dollar call i actually bought the 93 dollar call um, and i bought five contracts at 16 cents a piece so so i just made the adjustment from buying uh 10 contracts from the 95 to five contracts of the 93 strike price um i just did that because uh, they kind of charge me a lot per contract so when i start going like 10 or contracts or more you know the commission starts getting a little outrageous on interactive brokers so sometimes i just like to buy less contracts of a closer strike price because I don't want the commission eating into too many, too much of the gain. But um, if we go to the, let's go to the half hour chart again. Um, we can see that it is right at the bottom of this trend line that I drew before. So if it can hold this trend line and start moving higher, um, that would be absolutely perfect. And I think it has a great chance of pushing above that resistance area. But as of right now, I'm only $1 out of the money, and I ended up um, buying five contracts at $0.16 cents a piece or $16 a piece. Let's go to the option chain. Um, this is the trade right here, 5 CSX, November 27, uh, 93 calls for $0.16 uh, cents a piece. And you can see when I lowered the, the amount of contracts, the commission went down to $2.17. So I am in on this contract right here. And actually my order is still on the bid or what was left. I actually executed all of it. So that's somebody else on the bid right now. It's at 16 cents. And we can see that the delta is 23. So this is certainly still a high risk, low probability trade. But um, if we do get that explosion to around uh, the 95 or higher area out of that triangle consolidation, these will pay very nice. If not, I'm gonna be out, you know, roughly 80 bucks or so. So it's not the end of the world if it doesn't work out. But what I'm trying to do is just play one of these consolidation breakouts. You know, I wanna get, uh, I let, I wanna get one of these moves before they break out so I can get that, um, that huge price appreciation on these option contracts. But uh, I am in on this position as of right now and um, I will keep you posted later in the week and show you how it works out but um, I'm in as we speak all right that's going to do it for this video if you have any thoughts on these stocks please leave that for me down in the comment section or if you have any questions on anything I showed you please leave that in the comment section as well uh, please hit that like button for me if you enjoyed the video for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching my video. And until next time, take care, everybody.